While many people consider macOS computers to be especially secure, its highly integrated environment of apps like Find My iPhone and iCloud allow infiltration to really dig into someone's digital life. Today, we'll show you how to use Evil OS X to infiltrate a macOS computer on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Mac OS users tend to be proud of their computers. They're designed for convenience, they're highly integrated, and they have applications like Find My iPhone and iCloud, which allow various network devices to all be connected. Now, all this convenience comes at a cost, because if a hacker manages to get in, there's a lot they can do that might be more difficult on a different operating system. Now, to do this, we'll need to use something called a Remote Access Tool, or RAT, which today we'll use a tool called Evil OS X. Now, Evil OS X is a Python program, so in order to use it, we'll need to install Python, but that's pretty easy because Python is cross-platform and can be installed on virtually any operating system. Now, once we'll, we do, we'll be creating a stager, which will go ahead and then generate a launcher, which pulls down different payloads, and that will allow us to control what we want the compromised computer to do. Now, to do this, you can also check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description for more descriptions of the various libraries you'll need to install. And once you have this installed and all the necessary Python libraries installed as well, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullby website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. And this should now uh, basically kick us out and remove the bot. There we go. Got confirmation that we've removed the bot. And we've successfully logged into this computer remotely, grabbed some information, and terminated our remote connection without leaving any evidence behind. Once you generate an evil OSX payload, there are many different ways to deploy them. One of my favorites is to utilize physical access by creating a ducky script and then getting the company logo, putting it on a sticker, and then hiding the secret ducky in a pen cup or something else the receptionist will find later. While this is an effective technique, there are some limitations with the way that we've done it in this guide. One of those limitations is, if you're trying to do this over Wi-Fi in general, it will work, but if you try to do it over the internet, then it probably won't unless you do some fancy stuff like port forwarding, which is outside the scope of this particular guide. If you have any questions on how to set this up, you can refer to the Nullbyte article linked in the description. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.